the mongoose family and rock hyraxes live in a group around this rock. The hyrax breeds its offsprings in a crack in the rock and feeds on bush vegetation and leaves. Its hobby is to take a sun bath on top of their mothers. Due to the diversity of the natural environment, including the rocks, grass, and trees, there are more than 500 species of the Serengeti. this 30 meter wide, dangerous river. The dark wave of news crowd along the river in the twinkling of an eye. The sound of the rough stream depresses their spirits, but they refuse to end their journey here. a decision, but his courage disappears as soon as cold water hits his jaw. The herd waits for its leader to make the first step into the river. On the third try, the leader finally begins to swim. Following their leader, the news begin to jump into the river. The news challenge the rough streams, following a natural instinct that has been in their blood for two and a half million years. Tens of thousands of news crossing the river through the rough waves is one of the greatest natural spectacles on Earth. They march forth with all their might. If they don't do this, they will be swept away by the stream. 
there are already some victims. There are some news who have lost their courage and are now turning back. But those who make it to the other bank of the river are rewarded. Through the battlefield, filled with the dead, another new successfully crosses the river. Even on the other side of the river, the news have to fight a fierce battle to safely cross due to the speed of the stream. It's shallow, but if one loses one's footing, one will drift away with the current in a split second. A young new seems exhausted. It writhes under the pressure, but it only sinks deeper into the river. The scavengers of the savanna, the vultures that devour the dead, they fly in anticipation along the river. New groups of news are arriving along the Mara River. Here, there is twice the danger and they need twice the courage. The crocodiles have been waiting for their chance and now begin to hunt. One new is caught by a crocodile. The sacrifice of one life makes it possible for its mates to cross safely. The group loses a few, but hundreds of thousands of news safely cross the river. However, some news from the leading group turn around and come back toward the river. They are the ones that have lost their family members while crossing the river. A mother new feels uneasy after losing her offspring. The younger ones are looking for their mothers. Other news and offspring are vacantly looking around to find family among the newly arriving groups. There is nothing to stop this great flow of news. Even on the five meter high cliff, these news throw themselves off without hesitation. A young new takes a false step while jumping off the cliff. A mother new crosses the river but comes back down the slope beside the cliff to look for her offspring. Now, only the mother and her offspring are left on this side of the river. 
If they don't hurry and join the group on the other side of the river, they can be the target of flesh-eating beasts. It takes much more courage to jump into the river alone than with the others. The hesitating mother finally makes up her mind and jumps into the water. An excited crocodile attacks the mother. To make matters worse, a sudden downpour has made the river rise. For some reason, crocodiles give up on the new in the middle of the struggle. The new escaped by the skin of its teeth, but its leg is completely broken. In spite of the excessive pain, the mother continues to walk toward the group. She must be thinking only about her offspring. But the group is too far away. The pain and the despair eventually become too much for the mother new. She cannot get up again. Her journey ends right in front of the promised land. At long last, the final destination is near. It was such a long and difficult journey. with fresh grass is only a few steps in front of them. These news have traveled a long way, risking their lives in order to come here. News will feed on this new grass and stay in this paradise for a month and then return to the savanna of the Serengeti. Now, after 1.5 million news and 250,000 zebras have left, the savanna has fallen into a calm. Once all the news have left, the Serengeti National Park Authority sets fire to the grassland. A large fire naturally breaks out in the grassland in the dry season from time to time, so they purposely burn the grass to protect the trees. 
The burning of the grass prevents the multiplication of harmful insects like mosquitoes and flies, and new grass will grow quicker. The preservation of the Serengeti is possible due to these efforts. The savanna of the Serengeti and the Norongoro crater were originally part of the Maasai tribe's territory. Ngorongoro is a 300 square kilometer crater. It is called the department store of animals as a great number of wild animals are preserved here, surrounded by 600 meter high cliffs. This area was designated as a natural preservation area as early as the 1950s, as its value became known to the world. The park authority moved the Maasai tribe out of the crater. The warriors of the Maasai tribe had a custom of lion hunting in order to prove their bravery. Lion hunting is now prohibited, but the custom still remains in their rituals. The warriors in the front line jump as high as they can and stamp their feet before they hunt in order to threaten the lion. The Maasai tribe used to live against nature, but now they are learning how to live with nature. Park authorities provide natural preservation training to the Maasai tribe on a regular basis in the Ngorongoro preservation area, because they cannot maintain the natural environment without the help of these people. When the dry season begins, the Serengeti National Park rangers get busy. This is because of the increasing amount of poaching. Poachers hunt the news that begin to migrate and the wild beasts that accompany them. The park authority monitors poaching using a variety of means. This monitoring plane flies around the savanna to look for poachers. When they find a poacher and contact the main office, monitors will come in a minute. The monitors must be armed. It's very dangerous to face poachers who carry a variety of weapons. Poacher sweeping is like a military operation. Poachers are organized into groups, and they use a variety of methods these days that it's not easy to catch them. The rangers have found a trap. Poachers have laid a noose made out of wood, wire, and tree bark to catch the grazers that come to eat leaves and grasses. They finally found the poachers. The war between poachers and the rangers, the pursued and the pursuer, continues in the Serengeti. There were three of them, and they were all residents living in the neighborhood. The poachers made a hideout in the savanna to stay there for a while to skin and dry the animals they caught. They poach for game because they are extremely poor. Uh, the kind of poaching which is done in Tanzania is for 
food. They mainly go into the bush, hunt those animals, just mainly, I said, for food. You can see people like those, they, they look poor. The confiscated skins are burned on the spot in order to prevent black marketing. But no matter how hard the park rangers try to get rid of poaching, it seems impossible to root it out completely. To those desperate for a meal, survival is a greater issue than animal protection. A quarter of the entire territory of Tanzania is a natural preservation area, and they have been promoting the importance of animal protection nationwide. The park rangers bring little children to the grassland for on-the-spot education. These children watch the wild animals with their eyes, study their ecology, and learn how to protect the animals. These children will understand more about nature and become adults who will love and preserve nature. <laughs> They have been living here for millions of years, long before the beginning of humankind, and they will continue to live here. The Serengeti. It is the greatest property that nature has given to the world. <laughs> 